how to make a 3D Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. Are you tired of having the same old boring store that looks like all other stores that are built on Shopify? Well, you can elevate your Shopify store by making it 3D. And you might wonder, hey, how can I make my Shopify store 3D? Well, Three-dimensional stores have a lot of different elements that are not going to be found on regular stores. This is what our store looks like right now. It's not a bad store, but it's just not very interesting to look at. It's not very um, eye-catching or captivating. So by using platforms like Odyssey 3D, you can convert your regular store into a 3D store and incorporate elements that are going to be far more eye-catching. So let's get started. Now, the first step to get started with building our 3D Shopify store is going to be to go into settings on the bottom left. Once you go into settings on the bottom left, you're going to go into apps and sales channels. Once you do that, you're going to open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, you're simply going to search for 3D store. Once you search for 3D store, you're going to find Odyssey 3D. Now, there are several other 3D tools that allow you to build 3D stores. However, Odyssey 3D has the most easiest setup. They also have a free version and a paid version. Additionally, you can also get a free trial of their paid version. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see some of the free tools and the premium tools. So on the free version, you have 3D shop publishing, auto product linking, logo and tagline customization, multiple shop styles, 3D embed customization, and click to move. Then on their Forge version, it's only $10 a month with custom product selection, ambient music, interior studio, and more. So we're going to click on install over here. And once we click on install, a new tab is going to open up. Once this new tab opens up, we're going to click on install once more. Now, once our application has been installed, we're going to pin this to our navigation on the left. Once we do that, we can click on get started and we're just going to add where we found out about Odyssey 3D. So over here, you have two options. You can get a one month free trial or you can roam for free. I am going to go with the one month free trial. And you can get a yearly or a monthly subscription. On the yearly subscription, you save $20. And on the monthly subscription, it's going to only be $10 a month. And we're going to click on select this plan. Once you do that, a new tab is going to open up. So subtotal, total is going to be due the next month. So our free trial ends on the 23rd of March. And we're going to click on approve over here. Once we do that, we can proceed on to our Shopify store. So once we have subscribed, we are going to see a new screen. So we're just going to click on continue over here. And just like that, this is what our basic Odyssey 3D homepage is going to look like. Now in this, you can see branding, you can see themes, inventory and more. So you're going to go into logo and you're going to upload your own logo. I have built my logo, which I'm going to upload over here. I can't seem to find, yeah, here it is. I have my logo and tagline is going to be beauty for you. And then I'm just going to update this. Then if you go into themes, you have several different types of themes and you have your inventory. Now in your inventory, you have images, you have selected items and all items. Then below that you have features. So Odyssey 3D randomly selects products from your collections and displays them across your Shopify virtual store. You have your logo and tagline. We're gonna go into Forge and we're gonna go into custom product selection themes. And we have several different themes, which all of these look really nice for our 3D store, but I have a makeup store. So I want something that resonates with makeup. I think I want this to be modern, none. I want it to, I'm gonna browse around to see whichever one fits best. This is like a bakery, but I want something that's makeup-ish. So this looks nice. I think this looks pretty decent. So we're gonna click on preview to see what this 3D store looks like. And once this 3D store loads up, I'm going to take a look at, you know, how it's going to look like with my products. And I'm just gonna visualize it a little because you don't wanna just jump right in. You can, because you can always change it, but we're just gonna browse around a little. And obviously this might take a little bit of time. So we're just gonna wait patiently. 
So this is what it's going to look like, Lily's Beauty for You. Then we have our product, and then if we look up or look down, this is what it's going to look like. Then people can walk ahead like this, and this is what it's going to look like. So if uh, we take a look at this product, we can click on go to product and this is how it's going to show up. It looks pretty decent. Um, I do think I might want to increase, um, decrease the frames we have or obviously I have very few products added in the sample store. If you have more products, your number of frames can also be increased. And we have navigation, perspective, mouse sensitivity, all this looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go and I like this. So I am going to click on select. And we can click on customize first because I want to customize this first. So we're gonna click on customize so we can get started with customization. You can choose placement, how you want everything to be placed. You can see you have upload 3D model. So if you have 3D models of any of your products, you can upload those. You can see you also have a 3D asset store. So if you go on over here, you can actually add multiple different things. So, and we can add that as well. So we're just going to scroll ahead and once I do scroll ahead we are over here now if I want to move any object I can select that object like this we have huge stones and we can go into the color and customize the color we can change the texture as well and we're just going to click on update and we're going to update the texture then if I go ahead yeah so now moving forward, you can also customize, you know, the music that you have. You can upload your own music and you can also go into multiple different controls. And the full screen version is going to look like this. We're just going to exit that. But I think I'm pretty much satisfied. So I'm going to go back and click on select on the right. And this has been updated successfully. Then if I go ahead, go into Odyssey. I will have my own store's 3D version, which I can make my homepage. It just makes it more interesting for customers. This is gonna be our default homepage, but this is our uh, homepage. And once we have selected this, so we have decided to you know, use this, we can go into online store. Once we go into online store, we're gonna go ahead and click on customize. And you can have a store, if you have a store domain name, you can have a default store domain name as well. But you can relink it or have domain forwarding used, which essentially is going to forward the Odyssey pages or the Odyssey page as your basic home page. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.